Hi, my name is Jorge. I'm an engineer at a human engineering research lab. MIBOT stands for Mobility Enhancement Robotic Wheelchair. MIBOT is a robotic power wheelchair. It has six wheels, it uses air pneumatic actuators in each wheel to move them up and down. This allows the wheelchair to adjust its seat height and also the seat inclination. So this feature actually helps the wheelchair user to adjust seat, the seat height for reach and also transfer. And the seat inclination allows the user to drive over uneven terrains while keeping the seat flat. This actually provides safety and also to prevent dips and falls. Hi, I'm Dr. Rory Cooper. I'm the director of the Human Engineering Research Laboratories. The MIBOT project actually was started at the suggestion of the Marine Wounded Warrior Regiment several years ago uh, when they proposed whether we could design a robotic powered wheelchair that could go indoors, outdoors, so that wounded Marines could use it every day, but also go to a staff ride at Gettysburg and go over the trails. I thought that was an intriguing idea we started working on, on some early like, terrain detection and path planning, and eventually it led to the, to the MIBOT, the Mobility Enhancement Robotic Wheelchair. Hi, my name is Deepan Kamaraj, and I'm a research associate with the Human Engineering Research Laboratories. I'm a researcher, and I head pretty much a few projects that, we are, that are involved with the computer-assisted rehab environment, the Karen system, and we use the system to test MIBOT. So essentially, before anybody used the system, we test MIBOT's algorithms are good enough and, and how good is our algorithm. We test that in a moving platform. For example, one of the applications of MIBOT is while you're going up a ramp, it automatically detects the inclination of the slope and the seat would adjust so that the central pressure and the central mass for the person who's sitting and driving the chair is always constant. So your chances of tipping or tilting the chair is less. Hi, my name is Jonathan Duvall and I'm a graduate student researcher at the Human Engineering Research Laboratories. Since I've been a graduate student here for pretty much the whole life of the MIBOT project, I've always kind of been looking at it, hoping to you know, try it out at some point. And I got the chance to about a month ago, I think. And I was actually pretty surprised at how smooth the ride was and it really doesn't drive a whole lot different than standard power chair out on the market. But the, the increase in features was something I was able to to try a little bit, I didn't get it out to uh, try going over curbs or anything outside, but being able to see how the chair can adjust to all the different angles to do pressure reliefs and just going in and out of you know the bathroom or, or doors to see that even though the chair has the increased capabilities, it still isn't any wider than my chair. And also to see how quickly it can elevate up to the height of people so you can reach in high cabinets or talk to somebody face to face for, for social reasons is something that I was really impressed with the chair too. Hi, uh, my name is Matthew Landis. I'm an engineer here at Human Engineering Research Lab. I'm the computer engineer on the project, so I support the, the lead students and the, some of the other engineers in designing the logic, the kind of brain behind the system. So the computer system that ultimately will control the actuation, I assist in the development of that portion of the project. I know one of the big things that we, we get from the VA is the environment that we're developing this in. I mean, this is all kind of the product of uh, an effort by the VA to focus on not just reactionary or care or things that are developed for people that have the problems they have right now, but developing future systems that are going to improve VA care uh, down the line. That foresight, that idea of investing into the future of rehabilitation technologies provides us with the baseline environment that we need to be able to develop these kind of technologies. Uh, so that's the, the biggest thing that they do. As a wheelchair user, the most beneficial aspect is to be able to participate in activities in the community. Be able to go out and do things uh, as much as possible as everybody else can do. So your mobility is not restricted by the wheelchair, but actually expanded by the wheelchair. 